Well, a very good midweek Wednesday morning to you. Thank you, Mrs. H. She's done it again. Beautiful. Really cheers us up, you know. Fresh flowers and colour. I've said it many times, they don't stay there, they get moved into the house, into the living room or into the lounge or somewhere uh, for us to enjoy. Okay, so I'm using a razor I've never used before. Um, and there's three products in the shave, we should call it a Dave shave because a chap called Dave, if you're watching Dave, thank you so much, sent me what you'd class as a gift set, a care package and it had several shaving products in it, soaps, creams, razor, brush uh, and blades, sample blades um, and he sent it through a, to a friend of mine on his channel, uh, Graham, WXPM, some of you may know him, Denby Vid. And uh, he brought it round to me, and and this is a Blue Beard Revenge Cutlass razor, three piece. Very nice colouring on this. It reminds me of the same sort of colour as my Parker Twenty Two Arts, like a gunmetal finish. Beautiful thing. So thank you, Dave. It's not um, an open comb. There's just sort of it looks sort of open combish there, maybe, but it's not. It's just like a. Um, indentations really nice though it is a oh, sort of a millimeter maybe uh, you can't see can you but it wouldn't be classed as an open comb anyway three piece non adjustable so in that I'm going to use oh before we put the blade in he also sent this Clubman Pinout brush and it's a synthetic brush I have washed this in an antibacterial soap and dried it. I'm going to use it today. So I'm just going to put that. There's a good backbone on this. So I'm going to just soak that as I put the blade in the. And that's the blade I'm going to use. A good old Persona Platinum. Uh, very same blade as the Persona Red, really. I can't see any difference in them. Only the packaging, obviously. And there it is. So that goes on the head. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, Blue Beard Revenge Cutlass Razor. There you go. There is a slight overhang to be aware of there. It is branded on the head there. I've used their shave cream many times, and that's the diamond knurling on the handle. Using my own bowl. And what's that in there? Well, there's another. It's a shave cream that he sent. Traditional skincare Erasmic. Um, shave cream for a smooth comfortable shave lather shave cream superior quality shaving cream to soothe and moisturize your face and we all need a bit of that so that's come in the brush is soaked there nicely so we'll create the lather and we'll get going And he's also sent um, a soap, Clubman Pinout soap. Thank you, Dave. And, uh, and, and the hard shave stick of this, the Rasmic, isn't it? Yeah. Easy to lather this. Yeah, that's the scent I remember. That's the scent. This is like a real classic scented shave cream. What you'd expect an old shave cream to smell like, you know, the before they started doing all the the fragrances and the the sort of citrusy type things. These were the standards, the classics they call them. And that's that. So I think we're that's good. I'm very happy with that. That is nice. So we'll take these off. Wet the face. Need a shave. That is nice. Oh, see that there? You can see that little sort of nick there. It doesn't look much, does it? God, that hurt the other day. I opened a gate going to a house and um, 
the gate was stiff so I sort of pushed it and as it went it hit against a wall <laughs> anyway if you're looking for your gate if you're watching this it's four doors down because I took it off its hinges and <laughs> So it's a lovely shave cream. I like the scent of this. The shave soap is nice as well. This brush is, if you wanted a synthetic brush, but with um, a feel of a badger, or boar badger probably, and that backbone, this would be it. Really nice. Look at that. So simple and easy. So I'm not sure, um, Dave, if you're watching this, I'm not sure if you have a channel that you comment from, but if you don't and you're watching, thank you very much. Because I know he sends uh, messages and things, emails, that type of thing. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. We're going to heat up the Bluebeard's Revenge Cutlass. Great name. And let's hope it is Cutlass. Well, as in Nick's. I hope it does cut. There we go. First pass then. Midweek shave. Messy today. Still have another haircut. Very, very bad really because uh, somebody... Oh, that's nice. Lovely slickness on that cream. Love these blades. They're my go-to, well, one of them. I've been adding to my go-to list, haven't I? The Feather High Stainless. I never thought I'd say that. That would have been a special, because it's quite an aggressive uh, blade. Um, and that would have been something I used in a mild razor once. But uh, I've been enjoying it in many sort of razors and non-mild razors this is a on the first pass nice aggression there's a helicopter passing nice aggression it's a uh, well, we'll judge it on the second pass because we've got some whiskers on here, so it's... I'd say it's a bit... a bit higher than a medium or standard aggression. Very efficient razor. Yeah, I've never had this razor, never thought of getting it. Um, if I'm honest, I didn't realise they did a cutlass razor. Wow, the slickness is good, you know. It's that slick, I could easily shave with no cream. Wow. Into my hands a bit because I make them slippy. Yeah, very pleased with that. I gather. I tell you what, let's go for a bit of water. Good backbone. That is lovely. A treat of a midweek shave. A treat of a midweek shave from Dave. 
bit of a poet and I didn't know it at all. I know. Makes you cringe, doesn't it? Right, cross the growth, second pass. Blade is performing nicely as I knew it would. I'm very much uh, know these blades now. Hear that. Slickness of the cream is really good. Really good. So this razor for this shave and this bear, bear in mind this is a very slick shaving cream which isn't hampering it at all. It feels it's on the border of a aggressive. It's not aggressive and it's certainly not mild. It's not standard. It's just bordering the standard going into aggressive if you know what I mean um, really nice someone left a comment I think under the last video the video before can you suggest uh, a good razor for four days growth? <laughs> well, it, and some people ask what's the best blade. I can never answer that in honesty. A blade has to be tried. So the only thing I say to anybody is to get the right blade, you have to, I would advise buying a multi-branded sample pack which would give you five or ten packs of different brand of blades and just try them that's the only way you can find the perfect blade for you because something that I say is fantastic you might say yeah enjoyed it or you might say rubbish doesn't work for me because we're all different um, let me just wet that lovely um, razor this would certainly cut Four days growth. Um, but most razors would cut four days growth, but others quicker than well others. But it depends, you see, don't, there's no rush. Um, it's it's difficult to say really what to not to advise most razors would cut it but I would say if you want to save on money I would buy an adjustable you know like the there's the Parker variant um, uh, the Merca Progress uh, you might get a vintage adjustable they're quite they're a bit dearer but if you know it, it depends and the, the reason that I say that is you could try this multi branded sample pack in an adjustable razor and try it on different settings and there's you know so much you can do and you're bound to find something that will work so if you've got one day's growth you might say well I can put the razor down to number two or three you might have four days growth and put it up to its maximum aggression and you've got that in one razor if that makes sense This is if you're new to this way of shaving. You know, you don't want to be spending lots of money until you until you know you know this is for you wet shaving. Because sometimes you'll find people come to this way of shaving, enjoy it, but they also use the cartridge razors sort of for their work day shaves and or for their shaving their heads or for ease, ease of use I expect.
Wow, it's warm in here. Whew. Would you care to know what I had for my evening meal last night? If you said no, just block your ears. <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. I had the sausage in batter and chips. Cooked at home, not homemade. Um, they were Harry Ramsden's sausage in batter from Iceland. And uh, I like them. And um, chips. Yeah, has a has a good bit of a bite to this razor. But as I say, it's not aggressive. It's on the butt for me. It's on the border of into the aggressive category, if you like, just on the cusp, should we say? Uh, just a corner there. Slickness is unbelievable. Yep, yeah, you know what time it is now. Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. Right. Perfect. A nice cold water rinse. If I leave my hair grow any longer, I'll have to start combing it back like I used to have it years ago. Looks like somebody from the <laughs> from the 60s. Right, we're going to use Humphreys, look a lot my, like my dad when I do that, um, citrus witch hazel. This isn't the original, it's just one we get in the supermarkets. Um, you'll never beat the original. But this is it's good for a sort of midweek, just a reminder. Because it does. Oh yeah, you know it's got that. You know it's brute. Fair play to them. That is nice. Oh yeah, he'd have loved it. My father used to stink of this. The Fabergé, of course. Uh, 
going out there thinking he's got a couple of Rizzlers on the what he <laughs> and we're gonna use some Nivea fresh kick. And that is it. We're good to go. So a very comfortable, very slick. Um I think to be honest, something like the old black Wilkinson Sword Classic, very very mild razor, would struggle with that shave cream. It's too slick. In my humble opinion. So what have we used? We've used the Blue Beard's Revenge Cutlass Razor, a new one to me. Um, another one for the collection. Thank you, Dave, for these and for the other. I'll use the other stuff uh, as we go through the weeks uh, and months. And it's, it is logoed on the head there. As I say, for me personally, with a Persona Platinum brand new blade there, which is a standard blade for me, um, this felt on the cusp of aggressive. Just leaving the standard going into the aggressive side of things. Just had that bite to it. A really efficient razor. Comfortable, uh, nice to use, diamond early worked well, nicely balanced. Um, so that's a lovely gunmetal finish. We've used the covered in shaving cream, <laughs> Clubman Pinoud synthetic brush. Um, it has a badger feel to it and a good backbone to it, but it is synthetic. Really good. My own bowl, we've used the Erasmic shaving cream. Got everything slippy now. Uh, good stuff, very slick, nice scent. And then we've used water to rinse, Humphreys Citrus Witch Hazel, um, Brute Aftershave, which we get in the shops here, and the uh, Nivea Men Fresh Kick to finish off. Uh, yeah, so thank you again, Dave. Thank you for watching. Um, I've got another special shave on Sunday. Uh, quite exciting, really, because it's a, a new company. Uh, a British razor company and they've sent me a razor I may share a picture of it on my Instagram maybe on Saturday the day before the shave I'm really looking forward to using that because uh, as I say anything British is lovely isn't it for your own wherever you're from if you can support your own sort of your own side if you like um, it's good so uh, I'll share more about that with you on Sunday uh, but for this shave, thank you, Dave. Thank you. Have a great week, and I'll see you on Sunday for the week for the weekend shave. Yeah.